Welcome. Meditation Monday, number five. Last Meditation Monday, number four, I talked a little bit about visualization and visualizing your future self in order to achieve or overcome things in the present moment. And for the previous couple of Meditation Mondays, I've talked about neural pathways and how they can affect the way we behave and they can put us into almost an autopilot-like way of doing things. I gave the example of driving this week. You'll be pleased to know that I remembered to turn off for the park. And I wanted to touch a little more upon this idea that our behaviours and our actions are formulated through neural pathways, through our karma, and how you can break free from this and be more present in the moment and try and drag time out a little bit because time can vary. It can go incredibly quickly or it can seem like it goes painfully slow. But we're only here for a very short amount of time, so we want to maximise that, make the most of it, and not get trapped in this autopilot-like way of doing things. And that is to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You have to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You have to learn new skills, challenge yourself. An example I can give is, yesterday I was out on a bike ride and I met two guys who were well above my skill level, but allowed me to ride with them. And this allowed me to try new things that I've not tried before. Watching them do things gave me the confidence. And it was a great feeling, but once you've, once you've learned one thing or you've overcome one challenge, there's usually always another one afterwards. So it's good to, in the moment, appreciate that, ride that high, but then start looking forward, what's the next thing? Because it's very easy to get caught in a state of comfort and complacency. And when I look around society, I look, see a lot of people who've they've chosen comfort and because comfort and complacency gives you security. We like the things we know because it gives us comfort and security. But pushing ourselves out of that comfort zone and challenging ourselves is extremely rewarding and it's what leads to a lot of personal growth. So from that example I gave of my bike riding, there was two guys who helped me. And that was the other thing I wanted to mention was always help other people and offer your services, whatever it may be, to other people. And in return, you'll be open to receiving the help from other people. You've got to put it forward to then receive it. And it's there's an abundance of knowledgeable people around or anything that you might find challenging, somebody else might not find challenging. So listen out, look for examples, whatever it is you want to do or achieve, find the people that have done that or achieved that and have a look at what they're doing. And same, you help people or be yourself and live life as an example to other people. The way we learn is to observe people. So for me on my bike ride, I watched the guys go down the trail. I physically watched it and saw it with my own eyes. So that gave me the confidence and then I could then replicate what they'd done. So always remember that you're an example to other people. Live life like that, it's the best way of teaching. And in return, you'll begin to see other examples around you that you can learn from. So, that's what I wanted to talk about this week. And like always, we'll do a couple minute meditation. We'll just sit in stillness together. 
relax our minds, focus on our breath, and just come into connection with ourselves to start off the week. And wherever you sit in, sit up nice and tall, raise the crown of the head up towards the sky. And you can keep your eyes open or gently close your eyes and bring awareness to the breath. Focus on the inhales and the exhales. You'll hear my voice again in a couple minutes. Gently open your eyes if you had them closed. And thanks for joining me for another Meditation Monday. And remember, look out for teachers. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. Try new things. Overcome fears. From my experience, making these videos was a big fear. I felt nervous in front of the camera. And always looking back on yourself on camera is difficult, but once I'd done it, I realized it wasn't as bad as what I thought it was. And it was received with a lot of love. And that's usually the case. The things that you're afraid of or the challenges that you have once you've done them, you tend to look at them and think, that wasn't that bad at all. We create all of the fear in our own minds. And once we overcome it, we kind of realize how silly it was that we created so much around that thing. And that's just a stepping stone for what's the next thing. This thing is also probably not going to be as bad as I think it is once I've done it. So take that mentality into it. Live life as an example and catch you next time.